Hi Cancer, this is Cosmic Moon Child Tarot coming with you today with your October uh, weekly reading from October 1st to October 15th. I'm a psychic medium. I've been, um, I am a psychic medium and I have been uh, doing uh, personal card readings in my community and on a worldwide basis for over 20 years. Um, I usually channel messages through my angels and spirit guides and um, I'm trying to um, find different ways to uh, you know, do these uh, YouTube videos because I'm new on YouTube. So um, for those that don't know me, um, I, I kind of like don't use the card value of a tarot or the or card like other tarot readers. Um, it's because I channel messages through, okay? So as I um, was uh, shuffling the cards and meditating on your cards, uh, some cards had popped out of the deck, okay, that the angels wanted to let you know that what was going on. Oh, I'm so sorry. My phone. Um, so, as I was meditating on your cards, um, Cancer, okay, um, it showed me that from October 1st to October 15th, uh, that, uh, or it could be like, uh, because I'm taping this October, I think we're the 20... Um, let me see what's the date today. The 24th. So I'm taping this October 24th. And uh, so um, some of you had an offering of love. Um, the, the messages are coming in. Uh, for those of you, those cancers, they're coming in. But some of them are delayed. But it is a completion. Meaning that um, whatever lessons that you had to learn um, throughout you know, uh, if it has to be with love or your self-worth, uh, you are, um, they're completed. Um, I saw also a fire energy, okay? So it could be Aries, um, Aries, Sagittarius, and, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, okay? Uh, coming in very quickly to offer you some love. Uh, but the thing is, is that <clears throat> if it's a fire element, just be aware that the fire elements, they're, they're not very secure people, like they don't stay long, they'll just come in and out of your life. Um, or it could also be that this is the energy that you are, uh, you know, uh, you have within yourself. Or, uh, because we are in the north node of Leo, so that could also be it. But I do see an offering of love coming through, okay? So, we're going to start with the reading. So this is for love, for singles, couples dating and also a general reading okay so I already uh, shuffled the cards before and I'm gonna continue shuffling them like this because this is the only way that I um, that I give my reading and I will show you the cards as I go along if that's what you like to see but um, it's not about the cards in reality it's about the channeling that I do because I'm connecting connecting with all the cancers uh, across uh, the collective okay so um, over here um, what I'm um, getting from my angels is that in the past okay recent past you uh, you know uh, you had a lot of confrontations uh, it could be uh, that you had a confrontation uh, at work okay confrontations with different people uh, you know you, you spoke your you spoke your truth um, some of you had um, insomnia, you couldn't sleep, okay, um, you were always worrying, okay, you are always worrying, okay, and uh, some of you also, I feel, uh, my dear Cancers, it had to do maybe with an earth sign also, it could be a, a relationship, okay, uh, so it could be a job, it could be a relationship uh, with a, a Capricorn, um, Taurus or Virgo, okay, um, also, um, maybe the people that you had confrontations with, uh, I'm going to get more clar clarity on it as I go along, okay, but the Spirit told me that you, um, you stood your ground and you, like, kind of won your battles, but the messages that were coming to you were pretty harsh. Now, I don't know who I'm reading for because, like I said, it's a general reading, right? But just know that sometimes your sun sign, Cancer, uh, this month or the next month, 
will not, uh, maybe there's some things that will not resonate with you. And so this is why I ask you <clears throat> if you could um, go and check your rising sign and your moon sign and your Venus sign, okay? So the Venus sign, so how you get these signs, you say? Well, you go on Google, okay? And you text, and you, and you put uh, free birth chart astrology. There you put your name, it's free, so you're not gonna pay anything. Um, you put your name, when you were born, the time you were born, and it's gonna give you all the planets with all the signs that you have, okay? And when you come to this, or any kind of reading, it's impossible that the whole reading will be for you unless it could be, okay? It could be that it will be for you as well, to some of you, to some degree. But uh, for the rest of you, then you could, you could check, you know, your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus. And if you don't know the time that you're born, you put 12 p.m., okay? So you take whatever that resonates with you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, it means it's not for you and it's meant for somebody else. Just remember that, okay, Cancers? Uh, it shows me that, <coughs> can uh, Cancers, that in the past, you, uh, you've you been going through a major transformation this year, okay? Uh, uh, maybe, like, you were always uh, worried, like I said. You were always in, in your mind. You couldn't sleep. Uh, you know, those were fears that you projected upon yourself as well, but the transformations were real, okay? You had to um, see your self-worth, self okay? Because some of you's cancers, um, oops, too many cards came out. Some of you cancers um, uh, give, uh, you put your heart on, this, on your sleeve, okay? And, uh, you know, you're, the, you're like very open-hearted and you always see good through people, and you had to learn something through that, through your transformation, because of all the people that hurt you, okay? This is what I get. And you had to walk away from a lot of um, painful situations. Now, this could be for love, this could be for, uh, you know, family, friends, uh, career, okay? Oh, there's so many cards coming out. Oh, this one just came out. Um... Now, there could be a, uh, a, a, a fire, like I said, the fire element came out again over here, I'm going to show you, okay? Now, it's a queen, right? But it could be a queen and a king because this is a general reading, okay? So, this could be you, that uh, Cancer, you have something creative that you started in the month of August or September, and you're standing in your element right now, because in the past, you did have this card, okay? which shows me that you uh, had to fight some battles, you had to do some confrontations, uh, there were things that you had to uh, do, and, you know, and uh, you had to stand up for yourself, because, like, enough was enough, right? And this shows me here, the Knight of Cup, uh, not, uh, not the Knight of Cup, sorry, the Knight of Swords, uh, that the confrontations that you were having, okay, were not that like you you were you were getting a lot of confrontations and a lot of things were being said to you and that that is why you have to stand up for yourself or it could also be for those of you that are that were date that are were dating or in a relationship okay that the person that was giving you a hard time was someone of an air element so it could have been Aquarius Gemini and uh, Libra okay but because it's a general reading it could be any sign. All right, and maybe you did lose sleep, okay, maybe from a job, okay, because the pentacles do, are sometimes about it, most of the time it's about a job, okay, or it could be through a, um, an earth element, which is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, okay, but I'm going to just show you the cards, because I know you like to see the cards, but then I'm going to start to doing my channeling also. Let's see what Spirit tells me in this. You've been working on yourself a lot, Cancers, and I want to applaud you, and so do the angels. They want to applaud you. And I'll... Um, so in the past, you had to fight a lot. You had to stand up for your ground. Okay. And 
and uh, you have to you get to know your self worth. You've been working very hard, and uh, you did get from a seven of Pentacles. See, you you were reevaluating re yourself from the month of October first to October fifteenth, and this is who you are. You're going to be in the near future, very near future. Okay, the nine of Pentacles woman or man, you worked very hard, see other pentacles that you, you did, and look how poised, grounded, happy, okay, this is a beautiful card, and in your future, you got the ten of cups, this is for married couples, people that are dating, probably going to go to the next level in the relationship, and people that are single are going to meet someone new because there is messages of love coming through. Okay? And um, this is a happy home. If you have children, this is what you dream of. You dream of this happiness. Okay? And it's a new beginning because it's a 10. I'm going to pull out my cards. What are the messages for cancer? I want cancer to have love in their life. I want Cancer to have joy and happiness. I want Cancer to to experience all the beauties of the world. Where are the messages for Cancer? Oh, two cards came out. Wow. So when there's too many cards. Now, the worrying that you were doing, that's in the past, okay? It's in the past. Right now, I feel most of you are creating something. You're creating, um, you're creating a project, a new idea. Um, whatever you're doing, it's working. Okay, so keep doing what you're what you're doing. Or if you're in a job, cancers, you're gonna get promoted. Okay, you're gonna get promoted. There's gonna be a lot of celebration around you. You're gonna be celebrating a lot, and you understood what happened to you in your past. You knew that that. What was happening to you in your past was karmic and that these were lessons to be learned, okay? You're not depressed anymore. You don't feel alone. You see the appreciation around. You see the beauty of life around you, Cancers, okay? And I applaud you on that because life is not easy sometimes, okay? Some of you might feel, might feel stuck. And when I say that is because when I was um, doing your... Uh, when I was doing your... Um, when I was meditating on your cards, Spirit showed me new beginnings and not and and uh, it showed me uh, completion on one part for you, and it showed me that there was a soulmate or a twin flame coming to you. For those of you that don't know what twin flame is, I'm gonna have to make another segment for that because people are very confused with this twin flame and soulmate. But I did see a twin flame on the table. Okay, I, I saw it on the table and I saw it uh, through my third eye, and. Uh, what I can tell you is that you're going to be fear, you're going to be scared, of course, because you still have the inkling of like, well, you know, what if I put, you know, all my love in this situation and I get hurt again? I understand, but um, cancers, because um, that's on a collective. Everybody feels like that, but you always have to give someone a benefit of doubt, and you have to at least try. You know, um, spirit is saying just like. Um, move with this very slowly do not have to like because the full card <clears throat> the new beginning card that i got was that um you know sometimes the fool just like doesn't see the cliff and he ha and he, like he goes running into it and that was one thing that the cancers were uh, having i think that most cancers had a hard time with is that when situations like that happened that they met somebody in the past they used to go full course and they didn't think of like anything around it it's kind of the angels are kind of telling me that you have to slow down you know there is offers coming to you you just have to choose wisely and not be afraid to open your heart because you need to open your heart because there's going to be a lot of celebration around you cancers this is celebration okay family and friends and it's going to be the end of hardship that's another 10 but if it was like this it would tell me that you would be carrying hardships on you still but because it's reversed it's telling me that you're not going to feel like this you're not going to feel burdened like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders anymore and that's another 10 which equals to another one which is a new beginning so you have many beginnings 
uh, in your life that are coming towards you. It could be a job offer, okay? Uh, maybe uh, you're going to get promoted to a higher level. And those of you that are not working, you're going to get a job. That's 100%. I feel this. Uh, I also feel uh, a love relationship that's coming to you, a twin flame, and it's completion. Okay? What else can you tell me for cancers? For October 1st, October 15th. Is there anything else? When you meet this person, cancers... You're going to have an activation, okay? It's going to feel like a big chaotic at the beginning of it, okay? Um, it's, it's going to feel like um, you're confused uh, because you don't know, like, because when it's a twin flame reun uh, union, there is something chaotic that happens when two people meet. You feel like you've known each other for, like, so long. It's like you feel like you've known each other and you could be, and um, so there is going to be, like, part of uh, an activation and you're you're and spirit here is showing me that you're just waiting okay uh waiting that's like you've been waiting for a while now okay but it's coming to you uh, cancer and with this person okay whether it's female or male you're gonna be working together maybe in your creative ideas that you have some of you could be spiritual that you're gonna be uh working together uh, or it shows me here if you have a job you're going to be working with a lot of people um, and uh, evolving and bonding. Or it shows me for the people that are dating and the people that are single and married that there's going to be uh, you and your uh, partner, okay, significant other, okay. Um, you're going to be uh, also um, hand in hand growing and evolving as a beautiful couple. The energies are changing, Cancer. I don't know if some of you have felt it or not, and I'm, uh, because I know Cancers are very sensitive to the Earth energies of the Earth, but there's a beautiful change that's coming, and Spirit and, and the Angels are telling me that they and all the light workers around the world have been putting a lot of work in sh shifting the energy that in 2017, going to 2018, life will not be about hardships anymore. Okay, love. But life will not be about um, will not be about um, things going wrong. You're gonna have um, a beautiful shift. There's a shift happening in the in, in, on a collective right now as I, I'm speaking to you. So please be positive and have faith. Okay, be positive and have faith. I could see also some cancers. Um, you got the temperance card, okay? The temperance card is an angel. You see, there's a sun behind the angel. No, oh, sun is right here, sorry. <laughs> this is his aura, or her aura. And she, this angel has one foot in the water, one foot on the ground, and the two cups over here. She's putting water from here to here. Not a drop, very grounded very complete. If you want true love, Cancers, um, you have to wait for the right one to come along, okay? And it's worth the wait, trust me. It's, trust, it's worth the wait. Is there any other messages that you want to give to Cancers from October 1st to October 15th? Some of you fear that you're not going to have enough money. And Spirit is saying that they want you to have faith and start whatever project you're starting because uh, the divine blessings will come in, okay? There will be no more fighting, no more fighting within yourself either, okay? You are really working hard on yourself, Cancer, and the angels applaud you. For, now, for other Cancers, I'm also getting uh, that at one point there was a lot of confusion around you. You had your heart broken. Okay, it may have been from a third-party situation, um, and it, it broke you, okay, it broke you, and, um, you know, um, some of you are having a hard time with, um, 
these are not for all cancers, but this little part of cancer I got here is that you are healing, okay? And um, you are healing yourselves. And what happened to you in the past is not who you are. And sometimes things have to, to happen. Things have to happen, and sometimes they have to be bad things, unfortunately. You know, um, I don't want to see cancers getting hurt because they're, like, so sensitive and... They're so beautiful. They're beautiful human beings. Beautiful human beings, cancers. Okay. Um, it showed me that this heartbreak was really, really, really hard for you. Okay. Um, it showed me this. Look, I'll show you. I got this for some of you. Not all of you. And this. And this shows me that was. This is like. This was a third party situation. Um, okay. And um, right now, you feel the. For those of you that are still stuck in this pain, know that the pain is going to go away. Heal yourself because there's a, a twin flame union that's coming for you. Uh, and uh, for those of you that are completely single and still in the heartbreak, okay? Spirit and the angels are saying that um, that they're trying to show you some. They're trying to show you messages right now. Uh, they're trying to give you messages, and usually they work through numerology. Like if you see like one 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 two 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 three 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 four four four. If you see synchronicities, like, uh, you know, let's say your friends tell you, oh, let's go out, you know, that, let's say you have some friends that want to take you out, and, you know, because you feel in this energy that you're st still here, angels are saying, just go with it, because there's blessings coming, and that what happened to you in your past had to happen, because, um, because it was, um, it was not meant to be, it was not for your highest good. Over here, I got the magician, okay? This is for others of you that are healed and moving forward. You are creating your life. You have the number eight, which is infinity. Um, it's about creating your life. And it's very saying that you are creating your life. Okay, the real fortune is on your side. Okay, you have the angels across the world in every four corners at, for the tables to change and come towards you. This is a beautiful card, okay? And you also have your card, the chariot. Okay, the chariot card is a cancer card. It shows me that you're standing in your power within your yin and yang. Okay, um, you healed yourself and you're moving forward. But you see the two, uh, these two things, we have these two, if, well, usually you see horses, but these are if, sphinx, okay. Well, this is like your element. And this is the fire element, and you brought them together, and see how cool and collective they are. You know where you're going, and it shows me here, because you've got the three of wands. So some of you could be dealing with a fire energy, or this is you, okay? But you have the whole world. You're going, you're moving forward, which is a beautiful thing, okay? You're moving forward. It could be that you got a new offer of a job, okay, for those of you that are looking for a job, or those of you that are getting promoted, or those of you that are thinking about changing your job, okay, um, it could also be um, a Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn coming in for you, okay, but because it's a general reading, it's any sign, like I said, is there a final card for Cancer, Cancer, Moon, Sun, and Rising? <laughs> you got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is a beautiful card. When I did the October for Cancers uh, for 2017, I think it was a general reading, you also got this card. It's the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, it could be monetary that's coming in. Maybe you've been, you, you've been, you started a new project and uh, Spirit is applauding you because the angels are bringing you a gift from heaven gift from the universe. This is a beautiful gift. It's being handed to you. It could be for a form of a job. It could be form of a twin flame union that's coming in for you or uh, any uh, some kind of union that's coming towards you. It could be um, you getting promoted. It could be many things. Okay? And um, so this is a beautiful reading for those of you Cancers. You are uh, finally going to be celebrating. Um, I'm going to try to connect with the cards. You have everything here. It shows me how, how you worked on yourself. It's beautiful. 
from the from the seven of pentacles this is you working could be you working at your job and or creative idea that you had or it's your self-worth cancer then you went to the eight or actually you started by the four this is how you felt then you went to the seven then you went to the eight and now you're standing in your power on the ninth this could be you the energy that you're carrying cancer the queen or the king of wands or this is someone of a fire energy that's coming in for you okay and you're standing in your power cancer the chariot this is the cancer card this is a beautiful reading you have the magician you're creating this you you are creating this for yourself right now there's going to be celebration you got the ten of cups rejoicing celebration got the wheel of fortune coming your way you have faith you have patience you know you feel the cancers there's someone coming in for you for those of you that are single. And to top it all off, you got the gift from the from uh, from the universe, from heaven, from the angels, spirit that's coming in to offer you this. It's a beautiful reading transfer. So now I'm gonna go to the second uh, reading. I'm gonna be read, reading from uh, four different decks because I wanna reach as many cancers as I can. my crystals on top of my deck. A little angel. There we go. What are the messages for Cancers from October 1st to October 15th? I congratulate you, Cancers. You've come a long, long way. you come a long way. You should be proud of yourself. Be discerned, but do not Stay in the fear of not going forward because you're scared to get hurt. The tables are turning and they're turning for you. They're coming towards you. Oops. So what are the messages for cancer? From October 1st to October 15th. Love for couples, dating, single, and general, really, anything. Oh, there's too many cards that came out. Let me fix my cards. Okay. Wow. More good news. <laughs> That's great. Okay. What do you just want to tell me? Wow. A lot of cancers are that are dating, that have been dating for a long time. Some of you will get engaged and some of you will be married. Okay, you're going to be having your wedding. I see a beach. Some of you are going to a hot place to get married. Um, for those of you that are single, someone is coming in and that's going to change your life. There's going to be movement, choices, and decisions to be made. Uh, Maybe the person you're meeting will bring more happiness and joy, yes, and love, but also um, you're going to be marrying into wealth, I feel, for some of you, okay? And Spirit is saying to choose wisely, because uh, for those that are single, uh, the, guy, the people that are coming in, girls or guys that are coming into the singles, that are not dating, okay? You're going to have a lot of choices, a lot of choices, and Spirit is saying please choose wisely, okay? Like, get to know them. Do not just run and jump into the relationship. Really get to know them. Is this the person you want to be with? Okay? The universe is sending you a gift. The universe is coming to help you. Just always know the universe has your back all the time. Okay? 
there will be no more conflict and defeat for you cancers. And uh, for some of you, you're not going to be um, trapped in fear or uh, you're not going to have any conflict. Not even like you're, you know your worth now. You know who you are. Okay? Um, when you meet this person for the singles, this is for the singles. When you meet this person, you're going to be going through a transformation. Okay? You're going to feel something. Um, and again, I repeat this again here because it shows me here too in, this, in these cards. Um, that um, you're going to be going through a transformation. Or you're going now at this moment into a transformation uh, before you meet this person. For those of you that are dating, your relationship is going up to the next level. And for those of you that are married, you're going to, on a honeymoon or you're going somewhere, like even if it's for a weekend, I feel that like you're going and you kindle, uh, get that closer together. Uh, you know, um, I see some of you uh, also that are going to be pregnant, okay? So uh, expect like in three months from now uh, that there's going to be pregnancy. Uh, whatever you've been working on, on your, uh, let's say it's a job, or for some of you that are going higher, um, there is uh, changes of money coming in, okay? Like, uh, but I see it as, as a plus, not the, as a minus, okay? Uh, cancers right now, most cancers, okay? It's a general reading, but I feel when I'm connecting to the cancers that a lot of you know your worth. You're standing in your power. Your light and your shadow side are in sync. They are balanced, okay? You've been working hard on yourselves, Cancer. I, I like, see this. I feel this, too, okay? And uh, most of you, your third eye chakra is clear, okay? Meaning that you see things clearly now. And uh, that's a beautiful thing. There's going to be, for those of you that are, have this project that you've been working on, I don't know, I'm I, think, I feel like I'm talking for a Cancer here, that he or she started... Uh, something with another person maybe maybe uh, it's a creative idea but you needed help from, from other people anyways this creative idea it kind of took off like huge and you're starting to see changes coming in like a lot of money is coming in for you you're really standing in your power uh, cancers um, let's see if there's anything else is there anything you want to tell cancer from October 1st to October 15th just know that uh, you're going to be going through transformations, but they're not going to be the ones of pain and hurt like you suffered in the past. These transformations are going to bring you higher to, um, because the universe and the angels say that they're working over time behind the scenes, and they know that you've been asking for a soulmate and twin flame union, and they know that you've been waiting also for this creative idea to take off. And they're saying that uh, there's no time where they are, okay, because they're working all the time on there, there's no time, and that the man-made time that we have here on Earth is not what they, they can't comprehend that, okay? And uh, they're saying that uh, to keep the faith and know that, uh, trust your intuition as well, because it's right on target, okay? Your intuition is right on target. Uh, do not doubt yourself, okay? Because um, the signs that you're getting, Cancers, okay? Like uh, those of you that are aware that are receiving signs, okay? Okay. Uh, Synchronicity is 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 here. Uh, there's no. You're just. You feel like there's with a real fortune turning towards you, and this could be monetary love, everything that you wish for. It started to move towards you, but it's it doesn't move fast. The wheel. It takes its time. Okay. It, it's 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 not a fast process. You feel like you're waiting. You're waiting upon somebody. Waiting for someone. You're waiting for like a job or you're waiting for a call. Some of you, I feel like you're waiting for an email. Okay, um, just have patience, okay? Just have patience, please. And be careful because the, the patient card, see, I just said patient and this came out. So the, I don't know if you see this, okay? The patient card came upside down, okay? So it's telling me to be patient over here. This I said this word before. Okay, there's a new relationship. could be... You just, uh, you don't live close to each other. You live from um, maybe across a river or an ocean overseas. There's something that's sparked, okay, for those of you that are single, okay. Love begins, and it's a number one, so it's a new beginning. 
please start your, please start, sorry, please, um, let me see if I could, okay, your intuition, okay, it's right on target, you know what's going on, cancers, you feel it, okay, and um, it's your destiny, it's another 10, which becomes a 1, so there's many 1s here, so it could be 1s in every area of your life, okay, there's no, going to be no more suffering for cancers. I can tell you that. You've been resting. You've been taking care of yourself. You've been meditating. You've been going into the nature. Getting in touch with your feelings. Okay? There's still going to be some people out there that are going to try to, like, disbalance you. Okay? And Spirit is saying that do not go that way, please. Do not go that way. Okay? Cancers, you're standing in your power. You're standing in your power. Your in, your light, uh, uh, your um, light and your shadow are balanced. Sorry if my cards are broken, but these are, this is my favorite deck. Okay, it's called the shadow. You're standing in your power, and this could be through your creative creative idea. This could be through a love that's starting. It's completion for you in every area of your life, from the first of October to the fifteenth. Okay. Again, another one, passion. Ignited. For those of you that are singles, dating, and couples that have been going through a hard time, or no, singles, for the singles, you're going to meet someone that is going to bring fire within you, spark up, open your heart chakra. You're going to feel that love, that, that sense of being. For those of you that are single and date, uh, sorry, dating and get or married and have been having trouble in your marital. Uh, status. I don't see any breakups here. All I see is that uh, you're going to rekindle your love again. New beginnings for everybody. Is there anything else you want to tell me about cancers? Final card. It's the final card for cancer. <laughs> you know your truth. Cancer, you know the truth. Okay? You are standing in your power. And I'm not talking about an egoistic level. I'm talking about all this, all that you've been through in the past. You went through a major, major tra transformation. Some of you started, this started in 2012. Others of you, this started in 1999. Others of you, this started in 2014. And last year was a major transformation in every level for you. You saw the truth in everything never expected to see the truth in people that you thought were your family and friends those people that that hurt you you had to see the truth because now today at this moment you know who you are and you know that those people were not meant to be around you this could be family and friends co-workers you know we can we can bring everybody on our journey cancers for us, that's hard because once we cl cling on to um, people, we tend to want them to be with us all the time. All right, Cancers? But we can't bring everybody with us. Most of you will be concentrating mostly on your family, family or your soul family, the ones that you call your soul family. Others of you will be concentrating a lot on your, focusing a lot on your new uh, spiritual um, I'm not, I said spiritual but it doesn't have to be spiritual but this new idea that you have spirit goes like to keep doing it um, and um, sorry I just have to answer this text but I'm so sorry this, I don't want nobody to bother me for this reading okay Uh, I'm in my community, I'm a spiritual coach, and, I, and today's my day off, so I'm doing this reading. And a lot of people, like, text me to say, can we come over? They want to see me, right? So, um, but I feel that I, when I do my card readings, it's hard for me to um, do anything else but this. Okay. So, for, um, sorry that I got cut off. Um, what I wanted to say was that... Um, for those of you that you know that you've been working so hard on yourselves and uh, 
spiritual me at the beginning when I did your when I was in your energy because I had to you know clear the decks and really like shuffle them really good and and uh, get the energy of cancer is that um, you're not gonna let anybody ste step o over you anymore cancers you got this thing okay you got this what are the messages for cancer okay some of you have been asking uh, this is from female or male cancers uh, I think these are for the singles or the ones that just barely started uh, barely started uh, dating you're asking if you could trust that person and the answer is yes I get a man here and a woman okay um, what else am I getting oh god A lot of yous are um, out with friends, you're celebrating, you're having a good time, having a few drinks, laughing, okay? You're feeling good, Cancers, about yourself, okay? Female or male, you're really feeling good about yourself. You, you, um, you brought yourself to a, a different level that you never thought that you could. In the past, you probably felt that. Some of you still feel like you're stuck, but that's all in your mind, the Spirit is telling me. Okay, please heal yourself and move on. Uh, please heal yourself and move on. Okay, because there's good things coming to you, Cancers. For those of you that are widowers, okay, man and woman, there is someone new that's coming in. Um, you are a bit older. I feel that you're in your 40s, okay, or early 50s. I'm just giving you, um, this is what I'm getting as a number, but that uh, doesn't mean it's for all of you, okay, because it's a general reading. But for, for those of me that are widowers, okay, uh, man and woman, but I feel this is for a man for some reason, okay, uh, you're a bit older, not that much older, but you're a bit older, and the woman that you're going to meet is much younger than you, but she's very refined, very beautiful, um, you know, um, she, it shows that she, she has, um, she has, she's stable, um, she has like dark hair, I see this, and uh, you're, you've been asking if you could trust her, and the answer is yes. Some of you, that, the, the person that I'm meeting for that's a widower, um, expect that you're going to be having a baby with this lady, okay? Uh, you're, you're scared to move forward because of the loss that you had in the past. You lost your wife, and um, yes, you know, your wife was suffering a lot when she was alive, and she passed away um, very unexpectedly, I see here. But this new woman that's coming in for you, um, she um, she's already a she's already a mom. She's a single mom, you know, divorcee mom, with two kids. Okay, and there is another baby coming along the way. I see this for some of you. Um, what else do I see for cancers? Cancers from October from October first to October fifteenth of two thousand and seventeen. This is a general reading for dating, singles, and couples. i rather do it this way because, um, you know, um, I do a lot of personal readings. Plus, I, I have a, a daytime job. And plus, I, I, I also make my own essential oils uh, for people out uh, on a worldwide basis. So, But I really love doing card readings. And I really want to help as many people as I can with my card reading. Um, anything else that you want to tell me for cancers so I really appreciate doing this for all of you I want to thank you cancers for all the support you've been giving me on YouTube uh, you're super great uh, I'm going to be changing my format all the time I think um, because I just want to get it right <laughs> I don't know if there's any such thing as that but I do want to get this right I'm also a cancer myself okay So I feel for, I feel on a collective. This relationship that's coming in for you is going to be very a very light relationship. Okay, uh, I also see uh, for a lot of cancer women, there's there's going to be like um, you're going to have like a lot of messages coming through with maybe two or three suitors. Uh, there's one of them uh, that will be older than you. Okay. And the person that's older than you, the person that I'm, um, 
it's going to be older than you. Uh, I feel that um, they have your back, but I don't know. There's something suspicious about them. Um, they're sneaky. I get sneaky. Okay. So if you do get an older man, like, I don't know, in his 50s, 60s, um, he has a pinch, mustache pinch. Um, uh, I would not. Uh, there's some. I don't. I don't trust this person here because I feel that they have your back, but I don't think that they're there for their highest good. And for those that are the, uh, um, if you're the women are dating a, a widower or you're going to meet a widower, they're still not going to be freed of their la, uh, late wife. They're still. They still carry a lot of pain towards that. They still feel very stuck in, in, in the last relationship. Maybe it's not a widow relationship, but it, there's, there's an energy of being stuck. What I see for cancer, women and men, I see young, younger, like maybe your age or a bit more younger that are coming in. I see about three people that are coming in for you. Okay, I see a reunion uh, from, um, I see a reunion from your childhood that's coming through, like a twin flame union or, or a soulmate union. union. Okay, um, and this person will come to you, okay, or you will go to them, but it is coming, okay. Um, is there anything else you want to talk, Cancers? Yes, there is a, a, a lover that's coming towards you. They've been waiting. They've been waiting. Um, this man that I see, he's very handy man. He has... Um, Maybe he's like a police officer, a fireman. Um, could be also um, someone of um, looks probably for the government or something. He's very domesticated. He's a handyman. Uh, he, ha he owns his house. Uh, he's very very stable. Okay, and um, some of uh, could be also a Sagittarius, Aries. But I see Sagittarius here for some reason. Okay, for but this is a general reading. I also see um, a married woman. There's a married woman with children here that I see, and there's something false about this lady. So for all for those cancer men that are seeing uh, a married woman, she will not leave her husband. Okay, um, she will not leave her husband. She's flirting a lot. I'm not sure she's cheating, but she is flirting a lot. I feel that her her husband is never home. And she's the one that's always home taking care of the children. And I see that she's uh, she's happy with her family, like with her kids. But um, but I do see that she's there's a lot of flirting here. And there is uh, a, and just to be careful that if you do get in, entangled in a um, a married woman or married man, just know that uh, they will never leave their partner. Okay, because. Um, they're very sneaky, very sneaky. Okay, so I'm putting it out there. Um, is there anything else? There is a reunion from the past that's coming back again for those of you that are single. And um, it's going to be... Um, yeah. um, I'm just going to get one more card. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Is there anything else you want to tell me? Is there anything else? Uh, you have someone around you. Now, I, I feel this is for the married person. Those of you that are married that are thinking about going outside of your marriage, okay, or um, you're flirting with other people, uh, just be careful because you do have an enemy that's lurking, that's watching you. Um, Okay. Um, I also get I got the, the same card I got in the second deck and the first uh, La Fortuna La Fortuna for me means a blessing from the universe spirit, the angels can be in the form of a true love this, this reunion that's coming to you which will be light uh, beautiful love Okay, trusting, trustworthy okay um it could also come in forms of uh, work, 
or and forms of money that's coming in for you. Just beautiful cards of Fortuna and health also. Just be careful. I, I'm, I'm just getting for the married people that are, are uh, probably still going through, through some like maybe troubled times, okay, because you feel like you're in prison. You feel that uh, your husband or wife does not care for you. Uh, just know that um, you do have an enemy lurking behind you. Just be careful who you um, who you trust, okay? Is there anything else you want to tell me about this? Uh, is there anything else? Is there anything else? If you do have marital problems, I suggest that you sit down and talk and try to figure things out before you go outside your marriage to cheat because this one's going to cost you very dearly, I find. Okay. Yes. Okay. Over here I have Lamante. Eh, la, um, Lamante twice. So it's girl and for men and women. Okay. And it's because the cards are together. There's two people coming together. I have La Riunione. La Riunione. I have Viaggio. Someone's coming towards you or you're going towards them. And I have Fortuna. Some of you are going to meet this person through the internet, social media, online dating for the singles. I got the dog. Dog is about trustworthy people. Okay? Yes, you could trust them. Now I'm going to go to the final card. And it's a card from the university, what the universe has to give you. Okay? For cancer, women and men, from October 1st to October 15th, what does the universe have to say to the to cancers? Cancer, from October 1st to October 15th, what does the universe, what do you want to tell cancers? Oh, you got two cards, one after, <laughs> they just came out. Okay, so I'm going to hold it up. The first card here. Oh, there we go. It's a number one. New beginnings. You've been having a lot of number ones. i leave a card here for you to see. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Look at it and maybe uh, use your intuition and see how what it means to you. And I'm going to read it now. It's angelic being. Your angelic being has been with you since the day of your birth and will continue to be with you when you cross through the veil and return home. Your angelic guardian has asked you to look for signs and synchronicity. I did say that, that you have to look for the signs, right? Because they're coming in the synchronicities. They are trying to communicate with you now. In a whisper of a gentle guidance, you may hear your name being called or feel a subtle touch of a feather or a t tender tickle. You may eat you may see a sign on a billboard, a magazine, or even on TV. Keep your awareness open to the message they are bringing you. Wow. What a beautiful card. Yes. And the next card you got is number 19, which equals to number 10, which equals to number 1. Again, another one. New beginnings. You can look at the card. What a beautiful card. I like the yellow and the red. I like this. It's very really beautiful. So number 19. Deeper look. You are opening to a unique perspective. You are now able to see below the surface to gain a much deeper understanding of what is taking place. This, is not, this not only applies to your life, but to your understanding of other people as well. You will be able to see the smallest detail and see the energetic pattern of what is occurring. You'll see the consequences, both positive and negative, of your decisions and where they will lead you. This gives you an ability to offer sound counsel to others and to lead your own life in the right direction. Well, Cancers, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Okay, so this is from October 1st to October 15th. Just, uh, for, yeah. Just let me know if uh, you enjoyed the reading uh, and how I'm going to do, uh, how I'm going to go first is that Whoever that likes uh, and um, views my uh, channel, like, you know, my channel the most, will go first every time. 
and cancers, uh, you've been like really great supporters, supporters, and so I'm going first with you uh, for the October 1 to October 15th. Please come back between October 1st, like let's say you watch it like in a couple of days, uh, also come back in October and watch October 1st to October 15th because there's some things maybe that will um, reach, um, reach, resonate with you, okay? So I wish you a beautiful October. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.